Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the final video of Triple Grease for today. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grease and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is faith. Just pure and simple faith. Most people do not have true faith. They are waiting for a sign that should build their faith. But faith is something that you have even if you do not see anything. Faith is the essence of the kingdom of God. Faith is where you must walk in. By faith Noah built the ark over 120 years. By faith Moses took the people out of Egypt towards Mount Sinai where they met God. By faith Jesus completed his ministry. Faith towards the kingdom and towards the Father. Childlike faith to, to serve the Father as never before. Not to have any doubts. But faith also will bring you not only salvation, but it will bring you into kingdom works. Because as soon as you are saved by faith or grace, then you then you will have a yearning in your soul to do kingdom works. Not worldly works, not worldly charities, not worldly philanthropists, not become somebody who be celebrated for his good works. No, kingdom works. To bring in a harvest for the kingdom, to expand the kingdom territory of the kingdom of God. To win souls, to bring to to bring back the prodigal sons and daughters back into the open arms of the Father, to guide the people towards Mount Zion, where they will be raptured at the sixth seal into paradise. That is faith with paired with kingdom works. Because faith without works is dead. These works are not kingdom. Uh, these works are not worldly works. These are kingdom works, and they come through your faith. Faith is so important for such a time as this, when we see all evil rising, when we see Ahab and Jezebel in the White House, when we see the Antichrist to prepare his way to enter, to enter now the world scene. Faith is required, faith in the kingdom that you can come together now as a family community of the kingdom of heaven, in love, unity and support. Through faith we are building the Ark of the East. I hope you have watched the live stream for today about the new revelations the Lord has brought for us. It is so important. Great things are at stake. And he want to bring for he want to bring down fire from heaven. But we need to be prepared. Through faith you will stand in the clouds, be transformed into your destiny and purpose childlike faith. That's the reason why Jesus always referred to the children. Ask a child, do you trust your father? They have complete faith. The answer will always be yes. Can you answer that in the same way with yes? Or will you say maybe, I don't know, and I have an excuse. That's not faith. Faith is when you are standing strong for the kingdom. Faith is when you stand strong for the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Faith is when you stand strong in your destiny because you know that you are part of that kingdom, that you are true son and daughter of the Most High, that you belong to that kingdom as a co heir with Jesus Christ. That's faith. Faith is to, to go through places even if they are dark and even if they are dangerous. But Faith is to be the rock in the storm. Faith is to deliver the answer to a fallen world. And faith is to be the beacon of light in the darkness. That's faith. Our churches have lost faith long time ago. Many of you have lost faith. You got lulled in by the enemy. Placed into a state of slumber. Haven't forgotten that the gospel is about the kingdom. And nothing else in the kingdom. If you want to be a kingdom warrior, then you have to have great faith, childlike faith towards the Father. 
Jesus had that faith until the cross. He died for his faith and he was born on this world because he was sent by the Father. And he spoke about everything. He always said, the Father has said this, the Father has said that. Faith, faith towards the Father, childlike faith. That is what's missing in many people today. But not in you, brothers and sisters. You have come out, you have committed yourself. You have separated yourself from the world, Babylon, and the churches. You're walking a new path, full of faith, childlike faith towards the kingdom of heaven. You are, can be called the sons of God and you can be called the, 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 the sons and daughters of the Most High, born by the daughter of Zion for such a time as this. You are part of the remnant army of kings and priests, though faith. Now let us come together and build the Ark of the East through faith, as Noah built the Ark for a purpose. We are also building the Ark of the East for a purpose. Watch that live stream for today to know what purpose it is. And in that ark we will establish that altar on which fire will fall from heaven for the, for the protection, for the cover, for the provisions and for the transformation of all here on earth. So that sin can be pushed out. The time has come to step out into full faith. This is not the time of fasting. This is not the time of Bible study. This is a time of standing in full face, close with the full armor in the upper room, waiting for your transformation, waiting for the outpouring, waiting for the call of God. Face is required. You must be a faithful, powerful warrior in the army of the Lord. Have you joined Operation Kingdom yet? Have you taken your platoons, your battalion to the battle line? Are you ready? Have you face or are you standing with the churches? Look warm. Step out in your face, show forth get face, support the Ark of the East. Do something. Do kingdom work, kingdom purposes. See where the Lord is guiding you to show forth great face. Support Operation Kingdom. Share your resources, be part, having all in common, have one mind with the kingdom. Prepare a place for Jesus in your houses. Walk with him every day. Talk to him as a brother. Talk to the father as the true father. Be part of a family community, the family community of heaven. Here at Triple Grace, we are coming together in love, unity and support, full of faith, ready to be elevated, ready to be transformed, ready to serve the kingdom of God as never before. Through faith, with kingdom works. Not world works, but kingdom works. By the fruits you will know them. You are not bringing forth fruits if you say everything is spiritual. You are not bringing forth fruits if you remain seated in your church bench. You are not bringing forth fruits if you are only listening to pastors and preachers online or in your church. You are not bringing any forth fruits, forth any fruits and your tree will be taken down. Faith requires that you bring forth a harvest, that you extend the, the territory of the kingdom of heaven here on earth. By extending the territory of the kingdom of heaven, you're pushing out sin. You are standing strong against the evil flood. That is true faith. Nothing else. Faith cannot be received just only through a prayer or through a proclamation. Faith must be lived. It must be your life. It must embrace you completely. Faith in all situation. When the enemy comes against you, you have faith in the kingdom that the Father will come through. If you have another bad situation, sickness, whatever, have faith that the Lord will heal you. Faith is required for such a time as this. When we go from disaster to disaster and emergency to emergency, then you need the faith of the kingdom. Not the face of the churches, the face of the kingdom. Think about it, brothers and sisters. Where is your face? Do you have a church face? Or do you have the face that belongs to the kingdom of God? Walking in the image of our Lord and Savior. The one who showed the greatest face of them all. And even unto death. Do you have such a faith? Step forward now. 
be part of Parisian Kingdom, be part of Triple Grace, be part of the Ark, support wherever you can, step forward, share your resources, be part of the Kingdom, be part of your calling, be part of your destiny, you are called forth to do greater exploits than Jesus himself, right now, walk in the former and the latter reign, show forth faith, and that will lead to Kingdom works, and then you are complete, and then the Lord will see that you are a great vessel, and He will take this vessel and elevate you higher and higher and higher until you will stand before the throne of God, and He will tell you, well done, my true and faithful servants. You have brought in the harvest, you have fulfilled everything I have asked you for. You have listened to my voice, and you have followed my commandments. Faith requires also repentance. When you fall, repent. God knows that you are falling. We all know that you are not perfect. Nobody is perfect. We are falling from time to time and then we repent about it. And that is also great faith. Step forward now into true faith, into kingdom faith. That's what I call kingdom faith. That is a true faith, a powerful faith, the only faith. Everything else is not even worse to be called it. The Lord himself said, when I come back into this world, will I find faith? Will he? Are you ready to embrace it? Are you ready to step into it? And to walk it from today onwards forever and ever until you reach eternal life? Ask yourself, step into your destiny purpose now. Become part of Operation Kingdom. Take your troops forward. Put on your full armor. Support the Ark. Be part of this, the Ark of the East. Let us all step forward. Watch your live stream. Get an understanding about the Kingdom. Get an understanding about the revelation the Lord has brought for us uh, two days ago in the night. Walk in full faith for the Kingdom of God. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranat.